Welcome to my bedroom makeover or bedroom refresh and also mirror collection. In this video, there will be random dancing, so look out for that. <laughs> random appearances from my dolls and basically a lot of fun while doing this makeover. So sit back and relax and let's get on with the video. Welcome to my vanity area and I have a package that I need to open. We'll open it later at the end of the video. But first I wanted to mention that I'm going to talk a lot about mirrors because I didn't realize how many different mirrors I had collected over the years. I like things that are girly, blingy, <laughs> not always pink, but lately I'm in a pink phase. Look at my bedside table. It is mirrored, okay? And I also have mirrors across the bed. The back wall of our formal dining room is all mirrored and I love how it reflects the plants. This is one of my favorite mirrors. It's large, really large in the uh, dining area. And I just love all the details. I love that old world vintage feel, even though my style is pretty eclectic. I like modern pieces, but I also like vintage pieces like this one in the entrance area. I also have this mirror in the family room. This is a very simple mirror you've seen. And then this mirror was actually gold and I painted it white because I wanted it to match that kind of cottage feel that I had going on, kind of grandma feel if you will. I don't know, mirrors are like a portal. It's like I can stare into it and I love the reflection and how they bring light into the room, which reminds me, I might need to water the plants. So I'm just gonna spray uh, my peace lily. I have a number of peace lilies in the uh, dinette area. And like I said, this is a makeover video, but there's gonna be some random <laughs> things that I do in my life that are gonna show up in this video, like water the plants. Look how beautiful that money tree plant is. So let's go back a little so that you can see what inspired the makeover. You remember a few months ago, hopefully you watched the video, you saw Kenton and Kareem put together my large vanity from Impressions Vanity. It was a lot of work. It took them literally all day, but what, what came out was beautiful. I absolutely love this vanity and I still love it. It's so modern. It's so clean looking. It had the lights. It had the Bluetooth. It had like connections to charge my phone. It had great storage. So the challenge was, it's so nice that the rest of my loom, room <laughs> started to look like crap. I was like, okay, now you got this nice vanity, but look at the other side of your bedroom. It is a mess and you cannot have both. Mm -mm. You just cannot. So let me show you what I mean. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> oh God, I know, that is such an eyesore. That is the back wall. Our room is very large, and that's the wall you never see. I know, shameful, absolutely shameful. But don't worry, we are going to fix this. We are going to fix it. Okay, so we're gonna tackle this wall. It's got clothes, it's got that dresser, it's got boxes. You know, we've moved, we move things around, the children move things around. I'm constantly moving things around. Ah, you gotta sometimes just dance a little or else you'll feel overwhelmed. And I also have to listen to music. So when I'm working or doing something tedious, I like my music. Yemi Alade is a favorite. She's Nigerian. I wish you could listen to it, but I would get demonetized. So I have to remove the music and add what is YouTube friendly. Anyway, let's get on with this. So, so many boxes with random things in them, okay? Like this random skeleton that is actually broken that I have had for years since residency, but it's sentimental, okay? sentimental or these cards that I wrote out these are like study cards that I wrote out while I was in medical school like literally 20 years ago but I keep them I don't know why I keep them but I do I might learn something new if I reread them right <laughs> wow 
Anyway, it's a lot, it's a lot. We're gonna keep moving. Oh, okay, here's something random. A calendar from 1994, y'all. But I love the pictures, these pictures. I cannot throw this calendar away. This calendar was from my mother. She had it at work and she gave it to me or she sent it to me knowing that I would probably look at the pictures and wanna draw it. So I've had it since. So mommy, if you're watching this, do you remember this calendar? 1994. You guys, how many of you weren't born in 1994? Comment below. Or how old were you in 1994? In 1994, I was about to go to medical school. I had no children yet. I was married. Anyway, I love all the African women in that calendar. This is me at 18, graduating high school from Brooklyn and big hair. And this is me after Khalid, my first child. We went to the Dominican Republic. And these are my grandparents on my mother's side, Jacob and Karistine Robotham. May they rest in peace. I miss them. <laughs> and my parents in happier times back in Nigeria. Ha, Sokoto. Yeah, this is before we left to move to the United States. Here's another random old picture of the kids when we used to live upstate New York uh, many years ago when they were so little. Look at Murray and Miss Saucy. <laughs> what feels like hours later, although it wasn't really hours, I finally cleared up that whole side. So nothing on the floor there, but there's still this. And Ayodele wants to know, when are we going to go out to play? Rosie is already fast asleep. Poor girl. All right, let's handle this tangled mess, shall we? Look what I found. A random pretty necklace. What do you think? Okay, let's finish up with these mirrors and picture. What are we going to do with them? I used to keep my jewelry in this piece here. Many years ago, I bought that. All right, so I put it in the corner. I'm not sure if it looks right there, but for now it'll do. In another jewelry box, I see Kenton and I's wedding rings. You guys probably noticed we don't actually wear wedding rings. Well, after 30 odd years of being together, you put on weight and your fingers are too fat. <laughs> So my wedding ring, as you can see, is beautiful, but it doesn't fit the way it should fit. I could get it, you know, resized, but eh. And then when I was working in medicine, I always had my ring off anyway, just because it wasn't safe. So that's why you don't see us wear it. Kenton's ring, as you can see, fits me fine, but I don't want to wear his ring. And I had it inscribed on the inside, so maybe one of these days we'll both lose weight and we can wear our rings again. We'll see. It's nice to dream, right? Okay, let's dust off this chest of drawers. And this is one of those vintage chest of drawers, um, not pressed wood or anything, so it's pretty solid and I couldn't move it. So I had to get Kenton and Kareem. So this is before he went off to university to try to move it for me. So they got to try to take out one drawer at a time in order to move it because yeah it's pretty heavy okay so after a little finesse <laughs> they managed to remove the drawers and now she got to do the happy dance happy dance do you see the wall is cleared up i can move freely <laughs> time to vacuum you know how that is. You move furniture, you move things off the floor, you gotta vacuum. You gotta freshen it up a little bit, right? Get rid of all those strings and just clutter. By the way, don't forget to thumbs up. It helps the video and I really appreciate it. It's been raining pretty much all day. Heavy, heavy, heavy rain. Thunderstorms. See, you can see the floor is wet, but at least it stopped. It stopped. All the plants got a beat down, a major beat down. It smells nice still outside. So nice and fresh. 
my little miniature this is from last year and it's still doing really well see got two rosebuds coming so this will never be a big plant wow this really got a beat down I wonder how my little succulent fairy is she's having a conversation with a little frog <laughs> well I'm a little thirsty so this is some ginger, ginger and pineapple juice, fresh, freshly made yesterday. How did I manage to do that? So now that I have a blank slate, I've decided to hang these mirrors I've collected and I'm just kind of moving them around trying to decide. There's this outlet on top. Can you see that above? And it's ugly. It's for a television, but since we don't want a TV in our room, I'm just going to cover it with the mirror. And now I'm going to use some proper picture hanging tools to hang the mirrors. And these leave minimum damage to the wall. They're really perfect. You can buy them in the hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that. And you know, I really should be stepping on a step ladder, but I couldn't be bothered. So I'm just using this chair and voila, Mira is up and she's feeling good. She's feeling good. Cause who says you can't do it? We can do anything we put our mind to, right ladies? <laughs> So anyway, I'm just gonna shine the mirror, get it nice and clean, and enjoy. Shining, 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 don't let the bling blind you. <laughs> Silly me. No, seriously though, even the most basic of chores like making your bed or clearing your room should be fun. Make it fun, because you're more likely to do it. Life is too short to be serious all the time. Yes, I'm over 40, yes, we all know that. But as long as God gives me feet, legs, a body, I'm going to dance. Do you see my Oprah book by my bedside? I always need the inspiration. Anyway, I was feeling good about the room until Mr. Man showed up after Mariam called him. Hi folks, just wanna you know, show us we're in the middle of uh, upgrades and stuff like that. Very excited for my wife, you know, with her space as she's working. Her space? Uh, this is our bedroom. He talk about well, my space. No, no, I want yeah, come here. I want to show you. <laughs> I wasn't out. gonna show them the closet, but let's see. No, we'll see we'll me. show this little corner. Yes, here, Not the whole closet. Is my little corner right here now. Look at that. <laughs> huh? Look at that. Yeah. That little corner yeah. is little his corner. spot. There's yeah. my spot. Right. Uh, I'm working okay, very hard. Okay, you guys, this work. closet is actually fairly large. So it's okay if I put him in this little closet. It's quite okay. <laughs> but of course, we're joking. Again, this is a large walk in closet. It's got a lot of my stuff. The room extends that way. I'll show you later when it's all done. Sure, this looks very princessy and girly, and I can't help it. Is the bed princessy and girly? So I have this industrial scale clothing rack that I've had for years. Currently it has like new clothes, Ankara, that I need to wear one of these days, but I'm gonna keep it in the room because sometimes I do clothing hauls, which I haven't done in a minute, but I will soon. <laughs> anyway, so the room is coming together. That's a picture of Kenton and I in Florida. Look at the wall, isn't it beautiful? Look at the before, how ugly was that? How ugly was that? I think this is an improvement. Comment down below if you think that's an improvement. <laughs> and the girls really need to go to bed. Yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. But anyway, I really like the space, right? Oh my God, she really is crazy. What are you doing, Habiba? All right, good night. 
Okay, time for the unboxing. Remember that mystery bag? Let's see what's inside. What is inside that pink mystery bag? Y'all just have to watch. It is so beautiful. But before then, let me show you some vanity mirrors. Since I did say this was a collection, right? So this is a vanity mirror I have from Amazon, I believe. Uh, this was a birthday gift a couple of years ago from Kenton. I love this mirror. And if I can find something similar or the same thing, I will link it in the description box. It folds, it has a light on it, it can be charged. So when I didn't have the big vanity, this was perfect and I can bring it close up. I like the fact that it tilts. So if you're trying to put on lashes, this is perfect because you can bring it up close and tilt it so that you can put your lashes on. Anyway, I usually now keep it in the corner against the wall. Of course, my impressions vanity mirror is amazing. Then I also have this little Chanel compact. She's a little pricey, but she's actually quite affordable if you really think about it from Chanel. And it goes in my handbag. Love it. So now you probably know what the unboxing is about. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, just watch and see. It is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I promise, you'll love it. <laughs> This will make an amazing gift for someone. If someone, if you want a special gift for a very girly person, or you know, you want something custom, uh, you want something unique, look how pretty this is. Look at the little pink satin bag. So pretty. Anyway, open the bag, open the bag, Biba. <laughs> open the bag already. All right. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Ta-da! And I'm gonna give you a close-up. Just look. Look at that. Look at all that bling. Yes, another mirror. But this one is special because this one has my name on it. Do you see my name is on it? Now, why does that mean a lot to me? Because in America, with my name, it's not, I'm never going to go somewhere and see Habiba. I'm just not, unless I make it custom. Anyway, so I just wanted you to see, it's got charms on it. You can pick the charms you want. I had roses, I have the stethoscope, I have a crown, which is self-explanatory. I have some lipstick, because your girl loves makeup. I have a makeup brush on there. I have the Chanel logo. You see that? There is the makeup brush. I have the macaron because we know I love dessert. It's got a beautiful blingy bow. It's got some Chanel perfume. Anyway, it is so beautiful and everything on there is what I wanted. She did an amazing job. It's got pearls all along the border. You can customize it the way you want. Her name is Miss Tabby. And guess what? She is a black female who happens to be a nurse. So when I saw that combination, I was like, yes, 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 I will support her. And I know she's gonna make something amazing and she did. So I will leave her a link in the description box if you would like something beautiful and unique and girly and it's really amazing quality. And like I said, it's a black owned business. She's a nurse and yeah, I think it's beautiful. Anyway. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I know it's kind of all over the place. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But hey, the main theme was mirrors. I delivered on the promise. You saw a lot of mirrors in this video. All right, let's put this mirror away. Oh, she's so cute. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, all that good stuff. And we will see you soon. Bye!